Hi, I'm David Jones, Manor from Devon Cooking School. Today we're going to cook a really simple but really punchy salad. Roasted red peppers, blackened in the morso forno, anchovies, garlic, nice dressing, toss that all together, serve it with some bread. Really simple but really punchy flavours. Here's how we've got the oven set up for this dish. Nice big fire, burning brightly, lots of flame, lots of heat. That's going to blacken our peppers really, really quickly. OK, let's grab some peppers. Nice multicoloured ones going on here. Into that pan. And we're going to push that into the oven right up by the fire. To blacken and cook, we're going to peel the skins off later, so we don't mind about that. The important thing is, all of that charring on the outside is going to add some really deep, smoky flavour to the peppers. Whilst those peppers blacken, I'm going to toast some pumpkin seeds, not so close to the fire this time because I just want to start to brown the outside, bring out the lovely flavour. Those peppers are going to take just a couple of minutes and I can turn those round because they'll have already started to blacken. And back in right up close to the fire again. Whilst that's happening, I'll just prepare some other bits and pieces. I'll just finally slice the garlic. These are not going to get cooked at all, so they don't want to be too chunky. Now I've got these anchovies and they're pretty big, they're pretty sort of fat and thick, so I'm going to split those straight down the middle. We'll have a quick look and see how things are doing in the oven. Pumpkin seeds are just starting to sort of split on the outside and they've darkened a little bit. That's about all we need with those really. That will have really intensified the flavour of the pumpkin seeds. Our peppers are starting to blacken up beautifully. So I'm just turning those over so they get a chance to blacken all over. And I'm going to add a little bit of fuel, just keeping that fire burning nice and brightly right over the top of the peppers. Peppers have been in the oven for about 10 minutes, nicely blackened. I've kept the fire burning all brightly all the time. Turn the peppers over so they're blackened all over. I'm going to bring them out now because the pan is so hot, I'm going to use a cloth and the glove. And they are nicely blackened all over. So I just want to drop all of those into this bowl. Nice and quick while they're still very, very hot. Cover the whole thing with some cling film. And the steam from the peppers will blow off the skin, make them really easy to peel. And leaving us just the sweet flesh flavoured with a little bit of smokiness from the charring. One last thing to do for our preparation, chop a little bit of parsley. And I'm just going to do this fairly roughly. It's all going to get mixed up with the peppers. It's going to wilt in the heat of the peppers anyway, so no fine chopping here. That's everything ready. Now we can see if our peppers are ready to peel with a little water on the side. Easy to do this indoors under running water. The skin will just peel really easily off their peppers. Get rid of all that blackened skin. And you can see if I just rub that with my thumb, that skin comes away, no problem at all. It doesn't matter if there's a bit, a little bit of black left in it here and there. We just don't want too much making our finished dish bitter. So our peppers are all nice and clean, and I'm going to slice those up, just into sort of one centimetre strip, something like that. I'm not worried about the seeds and the, the membranes inside. This is a lovely rustic salad, so let's not be too fussy about it. Nice big chunks. Our peppers are chopped, we're ready to start assembling our salad. They're still a little bit warm, and that's good because we want them to soften the garlic and wilt the parsley that we're going to throw into them. In goes the garlic, finely sliced, and all of that chopped parsley. A nice pinch of salt, although not too much of a pinch of salt because we are going to add anchovies later. Good pinch of pepper, a splash of red wine vinegar, and a little glug of olive oil. And I'm just going to turn all of that over by hand. Get the peppers nice and coated with garlic, parsley and seasoning. Looking really fabulous. On top of that, I'm going to arrange some anchovy. Roughly scatter that all over the top of the peppers. See what I mean about gutsy flavours. And finishing it off with a nice scattering of our toasted pumpkin seeds, which will give it a lovely crunch and a final drizzle of olive oil. And then we can just let that cool down a little bit. It's 
kind of a warm salad, so we're not letting that go cold and we're not refrigerating it or anything like that. But we want to just let it cool a little bit, let the garlic soften, let the parsley wilt down. In the meantime, my oven's now died down a little bit, I can just warm up our bread. Our peppers are down to about ambient temperature. Our bread is crisped up a little bit in the oven. Slice that up. So there it is. Peppers blackened in the Morso Forno, put into a salad with anchovies, garlic, parsley, really gutsy flavours, absolutely fantastic. Perfect on its own with a little bit of bread or as a side dish for a barbecue.